Five places you least expect to see East German surplus. Number one, Rhodesia, or Zimbabwe these days. Rhodesian brushstroke was such an effective camel pattern, you can't see their country on a map anymore. Communist militant groups ZANU and ZAPU wore locally made Strictarn uniforms produced from East German fabric. Strictarn was known as rice fleck locally, and much like my cameraman, it performed very well in the African bush. Number two, Croatia. After the breakup of Yugoslavia, many new militaries were really hurting for equipment. It's not really surprising that a lot of those militaries bought up stocks of East German surplus, which was plentiful and cheap as hell at the time. Early in the Yugoslav wars, Croatian soldiers can be seen wearing strictarian jackets, shirts, and sometimes even an East German steel helmet. Many other Yugoslav factions also bought up East German surplus fabric and crafted things like vests, hats, and other articles of clothing. Number three, my personal favorite, Afghanistan. Northern Alliance fighters often rock strict tarn, and most of the time they didn't even bother to take the East German insignia off. Number four, Kazakhstan. Not much is really known about this one other than this, this single obscure photograph. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, they, they never adopted it, probably just a corked up white boy, you know? Fuck you. Number five, Uzbekistan. Their special forces and airborne units used Strictarn from 2002 to 2006. Strictarn field shirts now in stock at AP, sizes small and medium. 